everybody and welcome to the half ass homestead my name is angie and this is binks call her murder mittens for short um and today i'm cleaning out my deep freezers gee shouldn't you have done that before the pantry challenge mm, yeah but did i no so anyways that's what i'm doing today considering now we're wrapping up the pantry challenge this is something that I have done tentatively every one to two years is go through my freezer and clean everything out. I try to stay on top of it. I have some organization in the freezer that helps me stay on top of it, if that makes sense. This right here, I do put some bread in here, um, ice cream, and vegetables. This is primarily vegetables, sometimes some bread items and overflow gets stuck up here. The shelf is primarily meat. This shelf is primarily prepackaged foods and like overflow appetizers, like my deep fried pickles. Uh, and the bottom shelf is primarily bread, cheese, and animal parts. And then my door is butter and cream cheese, cheese, brats and chocolate chips, and appetizers. So we're going to clean all this out. I am going to put, I'm going to do as best organizing things outside of here as I can. And my favorite way to organize the things during cleaning out the freezer is with all of my laundry baskets that I don't use. So anyways, we're going to pull this out and I am reserving an area for things that need to be used up immediately. And then everything else that's good, I'll break down into meats, vegetables, and on. I am incredibly impressed with how few items that I found that needed to get out of my freezer and the fact that I decreased my freezers by one. So to speed up the defrosting process, I like to put a pan of boiling water on the bottom shelf to help speed everything along. Right. I'm going to start sorting this and kind of getting rid of some stuff that needs to go. I like to keep all of my prepackaged convenience meals like my quote unquote TV dinners and soups that are all ready to go on one shelf. And then I like my bread, anything for stocks, and some of my taxidermy projects go on the bottom shelf so I know where these things are. Um, butter, cream, cheese, and yogurt starter go in one pocket of the door. I like to keep my dairies together. And my cheese goes on another pocket. I like to keep all of my meat on a designated shelf, which gets kind of messy because of the variety. And I found some whipped cream and I decided to keep that on the convenience food with the ice cream. On one pocket of my freezer door, I like to keep all of my appetizers and then the vegetables on one shelf dedicated to just vegetables, which is getting pretty lean. There's way too much space in here. Um, there's hardly anything left, which is probably a good thing, which means I'm going through it. And then um, some more taxidermy projects. And I, the rest of the meat from the chest freezer, um, there's most of a deer down there which is good because we didn't get a whole lot of venison this year and we need it. So that is kind of what she's looking like. Um, a full freezer is an efficient freezer. It runs better. Um, and now the efficiency is on 10 because now I can, everything's very organized. So I think I'm set for the next year. There were some things that I found back there that have just been plain loss or were freezer burnt beyond recognition, mostly potato chips and some zucchini. Um, I've pulled out this apple pie that didn't seal. I have some um, fried green tomatoes that are starting to get freezer burnt. I have a shrimp. I have a steak that didn't seal properly. The sausage is kind of old. This bacon is old. These are not old, however, they are getting, I mean, they're kind of old, um, but they're still good. I still eat these. I ate a whole bunch of them, um, but those are in my freezer to get eaten immediately. I'm going to go. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.